Hi guys, my name is Rajan. Thumbs up, thumbs down below, share and subscribe and slap on the bell icon to get my future videos updates. So guys, without further ado, let's today, you know, discuss about the life and biography of a, a very well-known, you know, and glamorous actress of her time. Yes, I'm going to be talking about Parveen Bobby, but before I could even start, you know, uh, I will talk about a director, you know, if, if there was, you know, uh, any person you know who had that uncanny ability you know to visualize typical strugglers you know or actors you know on roads uh, you know footpaths or streets or anywhere you know in public you know it was it has it has to be you know it had to be Bia Rishara you know Bia, Bia Rishara was very famous for this act uh, of his you know and he gave many you know typical strugglers and actors a chance in his film which includes, you know, the likes of uh, Shatrugan Sina, Danny Dengzumpa, Jaya Bhadrudi, even Amitabh Bachchan, you know, among others. There were many. So, one day, uh, B.R. Rishara was shooting for his film in Ahmedabad, you know, and uh, after the completion of the day, you know, he saw a beautiful, you know, radiant girl, uh, you know, smoking in public, you know, and uh, the way which, you know, she took one, you know, the way which she took one puff after another, so he was quite impressed and mesmerized, you know, uh, with the way, you know, she was smoking in public, especially those days when, uh, you know, smoking for girls was considered a taboo. So, you know, he spontaneously, you know, he he approached that girl and offered her a role uh, in his film called Charitra, you know, to which uh, that girl, you know, refused initially, but afterwards she accepted the role. So, no, that girl was none other than Parveen Bobby. You know, that is how she she got her first break and uh, she was noticed. Uh, you know, talking about Parveen Bobby, Parveen Bobby was born and raised in a royal palace, you know, which consisted of 52 rooms and odd number of servants, you know, to serve her royal Muslim family of Junagadh. So, she was born, born in Junagadh. Oh, uh, then, you know, she had uh, a bachelor's degree in English literature from St. Xavier College in Ahmedabad. You know, when she was hardly 16 years of age, you know, her parents got her engaged to uh, her distant cousin uh, in Karachi. You know, but after that uh, 1971 war with Pakistan happened and uh, it was, you know, there was, an, there was an atmosphere of fear and uncertainty, you know, and so the marriage was called off and uh, then her father you know he, he suffered from a throat cancer and eventually he died so uh, over all in all uh, parveen was a little depressed girl you know and uh, like i said she was already you know um, uh, she, you know she was noticed by biari shara you know so her first first film was uh, charitra like i said opposite uh, a handsome cricketer salim durani you know but the film couldn't do you know it couldn't be a box office success, you know, and it was a flop. But uh, because, you know, Salim Durrani proved to be a wooden actor, you know, but uh, the role, if you talk about Parveen Bobby, Parveen Bobby's, you know, glamorous uh, look, you know, and, uh, you know, caught attention of uh, many directors back then. And she was flooded with lots of offers, you know, because of her glamorous look. And, uh, you know, then she then she gave a successful successful film majboor with opposite amitabh bachchan you know uh, her her you know her pair with amitabh bachchan was very famous those days you know she gave eight films with amitabh bachchan you know most of them were successful uh, like amar akbar anthony you know shan khuddar then do or do panch namak halal you know and uh, and not to for, forget you know divar among others there were many you know, then uh, Parveen gave many, you know, hits and super hit films and uh, her career went parabolic, uh, you know, you know, but, uh, you know, those days, you know, films were made as a hero centric film, you know, despite that, uh, you know, Parveen created a kind of an ecstasy in the minds of people, you know, because she portrayed a kind, a kind of character, you know, uh, you know, people have never seen on screen you know she she carried her way you know you know such with such a bohemian lifestyle you know where you know she she could smoke and uh, she she you know she she portrayed she was portrayed like a western girl and uh, you know where she could wear those skimpy clothes and bikinis you know and and 
and uh, she could sleep with with the man you know whom she hardly knows so she kind of you know you should break the jinx you know in the film industry that time you know uh, quite unlike you know unlike her predecessors you know who played the character the who played the stereotype character you know uh, like a sati savitri girl you know you know the only girl you know who gave her the run for her money was zinata man those days you know other than zinata man i couldn't remember you know any girl giving her a competition those days you know uh, you know then uh, those days you know filmmakers you know uh, cast her in the same sort of roles you know of a western girl you know and uh, she had a kind of a you know stamp of a western uh, western western kind of a you know girl roles so now she wanted to change her image you know so she did many films uh, with uh, dharmender jitender even with the rolling star back then you know rajesh kanna but uh, uh, her only films with amitabh did wonders those days you know then uh, finally she did get uh, a director you know in rishida rishikesh mukherjee who cast her in his cult movie uh, rang birangi alongside uh, dipti nawal and amol palekar you know uh, so the film was uh, a kind of you know image changer for her you know but uh, soon after that you know she started finding weaknesses for uh, handsome famous uh, young man you know and uh, she had she had a string of affairs after that you know uh, you know then uh, she often used to you know travel to far away places you know without any prior inf- prior information you know uh, with you know uh, those you know big costly you know stands uh, you know film sets and stands you know uh, you know kept and and the crew member you know uh, they kept waiting for her endlessly you know and that gave many producers you know a heavy loss at that time so uh, you know the first person who came in her life was uh, of course Danny Denzuppa who was also her neighbor and then the, you know uh, she even in she you know even she wanted to get married to Danny Denzuppa they were about to get married actually but then uh, in an interview you know uh, 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 Danny Denzuppa you know praised Amitabh Bachchan and uh, somehow you know uh, uh, i don't know the reason why but uh, Parveen Babu started hating Amitabh Bachchan a lot and then in in an interview like i said you know she saw Danny Denzuppa you know praising Amitabh Bachchan in an interview you know and then uh, you know she uh, she saw that interview and uh, then she broke all her ties with Danny Denzuppa you know and accused him to be a spy of Amitabh Bachchan you know then came uh, a married man you know Kabir Bedi a handsome married man uh, Kabir Bedi in her life you know and uh, Kabir Bedi even you know took her uh, to a Europe tour which lasted uh, for 2 years you know uh, before that you know uh, he was uh, Kabir Bedi you know had already uh was an internationally known person you know he he worked uh he worked in a bond movie you know called octopus you know uh, in a very important role and uh, alongside uh, the tennis sensation vijay amritraj so uh, then uh, you know uh, he was offered uh, uh, he was also offered a italian tv series called sandokan you know talking about parveen babi she was also you know she also created a history because she was the first asian actress you know to be to appear on the cover page of time magazine back then especially the european uh, version you know then uh, so now you know uh, upon her return to india uh, she had uh, you know a series of controversies you know uh, like uh, yash chopra was uh, making a film called silsile you know in which he cast uh pavin bobby and smita patil you know soon they were replaced with uh, rekha and uh, of course jay bachchan the wife of amita bachchan so you know now now parveen you know had made a habit you know to uh, to leave you know the shootings in between and go to far away places you know and uh, you know without informing uh, about her whereabouts you know allegedly with mahesh bhat so then uh, uh, mahesh bhat you know uh, came to her life and uh, you know uh, in those days you know mahesh bhat was a struggling director you know and he was in he was in search of many godmans you know and it is quite possible that he only introduced uh, parveen bobby to the godmans like uh, bhagwan rajneesh and yuji krishnamurthy so you know so now 
the producers you know had lost faith in praveen bobby and you know soon she was replaced with uh, whatever films she had you know in her hands you know uh, they there uh, there you know she was replaced with other actresses and uh, you know uh, uh, then then you know mahesh but you know made uh, a cult and super hit film called earth you know in uh, in which he cast uh, uh, smita patel and shabana azmi you know so it was alleged that uh, this film uh, was on the personal life of you know personal life experience uh, of mahesh bhat and praveen bobby of course so you know when uh, praveen bobby you know saw that film you know in an interview then she told that now that she had nothing to do with mahesh bhat anymore you know and she broke all her ties with mahesh bhat you know, by now the rumors had spread in the industry you know uh that parveen was on a path to self destruction and uh, that she had become a drug addict you know she did try to make a comeback in films you know after 5 years but uh, industry never welcomed her back you know with an open arm with the open arms actually you know and whatever whatever films she had in her hand like i said you know were either given to someone else or had stopped their shooting in between you know because of the heavy loss they suffered uh, you know and uh, then you know be- thanks to you know thanks to the wise inv- investments you know parveen had made in her life earlier you know uh, she was still living you know an affluent lifestyle you know she had a pen she still had a penthouse you know uh, in juhu uh, you know a posh area like juhu and uh, you know then she started her career you know as a interior designer you know painter and writer you know and she did contribute to many magazines and newspapers you know uh, with her articles you know uh, of course with her own narrative uh, then you know uh, according to many you know she suffered from a disease called uh, paranoid schizophrenia you know and she even portrayed amitabh bachchan as a biggest threat to her life and she even declared him uh um, the gangster you know the biggest gangster in underworld town you know who had ties with bill clinton uh, prince charles fbi mozard and kgf you know and uh, that they all were plotting against her and uh, she even you know accused amitabh bachchan of kidnapping her you know and uh, uh, you know taking her to uh, an unknown island you know and installing uh, installing a transmitter in her body you know just to keep her track where she is going and then she you know she even you know filed a case you know with affidavit attached to it that uh, uh, that uh, she had solid proofs that uh, that uh, uh, sanjay dat was a mastermind of the mumbai serial uh, bomb blast and uh, you know uh, she she had uh, she had many proofs you know uh, proofs she had she she had many proofs you know to justify what she was telling so uh, but she never actually uh, you know appeared in the court uh, when the hearing was called you know so uh, by now you know she was starting to live life uh, you know as a recluse you know without any friends of course and last time she was seen uh, in an interview of, you know opposite uh, shekhar suman so she had gained a substantial amount of weight you know and uh, she 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 gushed about that that it is all because of on the past time you know and when she has been having uh, so uh, she has gained uh, the, um, the the substantial amount of weight you know and she even you know uh, she even made a mockery uh, in an interview you know she even made a mockery of amitabh bachchan by uh, by laughing you know at him that uh, how can uh, how can you guys you know declare him as the star of the millennium you know when you have people like michael jackson elvis presley mordo grindo and etc you know and they are all still alive you know and even uh, how can you even nominate him you know for uh, the 10 most handsome men uh, of india ever you know uh, when you have people like devanand raj kapoor sashi kapoor you know and even uh, his dear friend uh, sanjay gandhi you know and uh, there are many you know dharmender jitender so you know um, she gushed about it you know and make a mockery of made a mockery of amitabh bachchan that day so you know she was also you know uh, uh, known for you know uh, eating pork despite being a muslim she ate pork and uh, to that she she told once you know uh, uh, that 
by by refraining from pork you know you cannot become a spiritual you know you cannot be a spiritual entity you know and uh, by refraining from pork even mohammed ali jinnah ate pork once you know and one day you know a foul smell came from her uh, her her house you know and uh, uh, the when police you know tried tried to open the door you know on instance of uh, her neighbors you know because a foul smell was coming from her apartment you know and when police arrived you know they saw piles of you know milk bottles and newspapers you know all piled up you know and for a few days and uh, you know when they opened the door you know they find uh, the dead body of parveen bobby you know in a horrible state uh, where you know uh, all the cigarette butts you know were lying there you know, and and many uh, many alcohol bottles were lying all over the place you know and uh, you know the you know the death became a mist kind of a mystery at that time you know and it is still investigated uh, whether it's it was a murder or you know and but it was widely believed that uh, uh, parveen bobby died because of a gangrene foot you know because she was a diabetic patient you know and then uh, she was uh, because uh, though she had you know converted uh, to christianity before her death but uh, because on strong instance from her family you know the muslim family you know they buried her in in a muslim uh, you know in a muslim uh, uh, they buried her according to the muslim rites you know and uh, you know all uh, she when she died you know she left a huge property behind her you know and uh, uh, because she didn't have you know good relations with her family so you know uh, the majority of her property had gone to catholic churches according to her wish and uh, you know there are still you know files being you know petitions being filed you know for the property from from her distant relatives you know but that's how uh, you know she she didn't she she died you know uh, at the age of 30, 50 years of age you know she died leaving behind the legacy you know of uh, a, a most glamorous actress of her time you know and uh, you will be surprised to know that uh, when when she had a glorious career you know there were people beside her you know but when she died uh you know there were only four four persons who came to her funeral you know among them was uh, of course Danny then Zumpa because it is also quite possible because he was he came in, not because he had uh, you no know, love for her but he came because he was uh, her dear neighbor you know he lived in the same building uh, where uh, she had an apartment so that is how you know she ended her life so guys comment me below you know and i'll be making the same video in hindi language also so comment me in below did you like my video or not so till then take care and goodbye